As I said earlier, we were made with a desire for God inscribed on our hearts, which means at least this much, that if we look closely at the universe and we look closely at ourselves, we can discern that God really exists. Ask an atheist why he doesn't believe in God, and he'll point to everything and say, well, where is he? Ask the church why she believes in God, and she'll point to everything and say, well, where is he not? For the church, everything points to the existence of God. But when I say everything points to God's existence, I don't mean like in a scientific sense where, you know, like 2 plus 2 equals 4, or where you can, you know, run tests on God in the laboratory and come out with the same uh, conclusions every time. What I mean by that is that we can build argument upon argument to show that God must exist, that this universe couldn't exist the way it does if God didn't exist. Just a couple of examples. Um, you know, we see that the planets are spinning, that the birds are flying, that everything's in movement. Well, who jump-started the movement? Right? We look inside ourselves and we see that we're moral creatures. Well, where did that come from? We have a desire for the infinite. We, we, we feel that we are more than just matter, that we have souls. Well, where does that come from? Where did existence come from? You know, I, I came from my parents, my parents came from their parents. But if you go back far enough, who, who eventually had existence to be able to give it to everything else, or everyone else? We believe that the deeper you go into these questions, eventually you'll come out the other end saying, God must exist. Now obviously, I haven't even expressed superficially every argument or counter-argument that could be made for the existence of God. Suffice it to say, I mean, whole books have been written about every argument for God or against God. But this is what the Church means when she says that we can know that God exists by looking at the world around us. If you want to dig deeper into these arguments and others like them, visit catholicmediaoutreach.com.